The very first exercise we do in sacred geometry is the creation of this vesica. It's created by means of two circles that are overlaid on one another such that the circumference of one falls on the center of the other. If you have one circle in its center, you take a second circle of the same diameter and draw it in such a way that its circumference hits the center of the first one and vice versa. It's the overlap of those two circles that creates this vesica. That was the primordial act, if you will. And, and it was considered philosophically to be like a, a recapitulation of the primordial act of creation itself. Is the emergence of these two circles, these two symbolical circles. They come together and they merge until circumference lines up with center. And in that overlap, in that in that overlap, that vesica, out of that vesica, which is considered again like this preeminent feminine symbol associated with the womb, is born the whole edifice of Euclidean geometry, which emerges from that symbol. And it starts with the creation of the equilateral triangle. And then from there, you, a couple of additional simple steps, you can create a square, and that leads you into the ad quadratum system of Masonic geometry, which means of the square. As the vesica is based upon length to width ratio square root of three, all squares, their diagonal to their side length is the ratio of square root of two to three. Now the square root of two, the square root of three, the square root of five are like the phi ratio of the golden section or pi in that they are non-repeating, non-terminating decimals. They go on and on and on and they never repeat and they never terminate. This is why they're called irrational. Sometimes they've been referred to as transcendental numbers.